And Ron Lewis, sophomore out of New Orleans, will kick it off for LSU. He hooks the ball deep into the end zone, off the hands of Humphrey and off the field of play. And Mike Shula now comes out with the offense. Third down and a long three for Alabama. Shula's first pass of the day. Has time to the sideline. Lucky to get it back. Number 27, Kevin Guidry, zeroed in on Al Bell. Joe Hicks is our referee, as you saw. And back goes Wickersham, almost stumbled. Pressure coming from the outside. Bennett hits him as he releases the ball. It's thrown high, incomplete. And it brings up a fourth down. Keith Murray, true freshman from Theodore, Alabama. Averaged 49 in high school in two games. is averaged 29 at LSU. He gets a good roll on that one. He kicked it so short that Al Bell had no opportunity to come up and field the ball. And lo and behold, the ball takes that funny bounce and turns into a 53-yard punt. You grade the quarterback by percentage of yardage on attempts and interceptions and touchdowns per attempt rather than just percentages. Turns and gives the ball to Jokes. And the young man from Gadsden who had, what, 228 yards running and receiving, 168 on the ground last week, pops out of there with some authority as Alabama starts back at its 13, and Gene got it almost to the 20. Second down, about three and a half. Jokes again. Finds daylight. First down, Alabama. Out at the 28-yard line. Ball up around the 28-yard line. They play on grass here at Tiger Stadium, and Shula straight back. Whips it out here, trying to set up the screen for Jokes, and he gets just enough of a block to pop it on up near the 39-yard line where he is brought down. Most teams will treat this type of play as running play. Third now and long. Third and seven. From the 42. Shula has some open field in front of it. Dives for his first down and looks like the mark will get him there. And they're going to throw on first down. Shula dumps it off. Joe makes a good catch. Pops outside and he's going to have another first down. At the 39 of LSU. Doug Allen comes into the backfield now for Alabama. The ball goes to Jokes. Gets a block on the corner. Pops it outside. Great speed. He's gone. Touchdown, Alabama. The key to that play was the block by Bell, the wide receiver, Keith. He did a magnificent job. Seven minutes and 57 seconds to play in the first quarter. Alabama's Gene Jokes goes 34 for the TD. For Dalton Hilliard takes it and they'll not return it. Well, Kurt Jarvis and John Hand cause him a lot of trouble in the middle, but that time LSU runs right by him and uh, picks up. Well, Dalton Hilliard comes out to the 29, give Dalton seven yards on that carry. Wickersham pitches to Dalton Hilliard, gets a block on the corner, but again, there is very good pursuit. And the man who did the job inside, one was Jarvis and the other was Rockwell. Randy took him down. Two minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first quarter of play. It is third down and 11 LSU. The ball at their own 31. They trail 7 to nothing. And Wickersham runs away from the pursuit, pumps it as it popped up in the air where it falls incomplete. Second down and still 10. Do a little shovel pass to turn of the fullback. He pops it up the middle and bangs all the way to the 45 for a first down for the tide. Chris Carrier. Brought him down. Alabama looking at third down and six. The ball is on the LSU 37-yard line as we start the second quarter. Mike Shula hit by Brooks. Michael Brooks was left uncovered, and he came thundering in to deck Shula with authority. Brooks comes right from behind and sacks Shula. First time in three ball games, four ball games. Pick is down to the seven where it is dropped by Norman Jefferson, and he has to cover the ball. 40-yard punt. Sam Martin now and Garland Jean-Baptiste in the backfield. Jean-Baptiste is the fullback and Martin the deep man and Sam's got the ball and he can fly. Oh, I mean, you, you give him a crack and it's see you later. LSU's run 10 times for 22 yards so far. Here's Wickersham rolling out. He's got protectors over there but he doesn't have much to throw to so he takes off the other way. And gets collision by number 15, Lydell Mitchell. 
throw. Ball's got some zip on it. It's caught right at the 35-yard line. Pulled in by Wendell Davis, the 185-pounder from Shreveport. 26-yard field goal try by Ron Lewis. Got it up. And he missed it. He missed it from 26 yards. So the Alabama defense morale goes up now as LSU is turned away empty. Doug Allen and Bobby Humphrey are the backs. Humphrey with the ball, pops it over the right side, gets it out to the 30. It's been a good defensive struggle, something that we kind of anticipated, Keith. Both teams' defense overshadowing the offense. One long drive by Shula was the key. And that'll do it. As the final seconds tick away, the two teams head for the clubhouse, and we head for Tim Brandt as he talks with Ray Perkins. Alabama 7-0, and here's the ball floating to Martin. A yard, two, maybe two yards deep in the end zone. Look out! The kicker, Van Tiffin, brought him down. Otherwise, it's a tie ball game, probably. Great play. He Kevin. can run that kick. Whew. Back goes Wickersham on first down. Shoots it to Mitch Andrews, the tight end, and he's down just over midfield. And so LSU starting out to test the tied defense. Second down and about two for LSU. So they start out with a bang here in the second half. Give it to Gary James, and he breaks it, and he's gone. Touchdown, Tiger. And the crowd is back in the ball game. Shula gives on a little delay to Jux, gets outside. And does something with it. He had to run all the way across the field. And finally, as he neared the boundary, he was able to turn it up and pick up four. Shula gives it to Turner, and he will have the first down. One of the most important things in baseball, after your team has scored to take a lead, or holds the lead, the most important thing is for the pitcher to shut him out. 49-yarder by Gary James. Here goes Jokes again, caught behind the line of scrimmage by Ron Sancho. And red shirt freshman, 6'2", 220. Greg Richardson is wide to the bottom of the picture. Greg has not seen the ball at the end of the pass today. Shula back to throw, looks at it. Nope, gives it away to Jokes. Jelts is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Sean Burks, number 57, the inside backer. And leading tackler for the Tigers got there first. Goes to Hilliard. Well, they carve another hole. Dalton Hilliard moves from the 18 to the 24 for six yards. Hilliard. Coming around the corner, loses his helmet, and penalty flags fly on it. That'll be a face mask call on Larry Roberts. Tigers move out to the 33, where it's a first down, and Gary James is back in. Double wide top, and Wickersham sets the throw. Pumps it once, goes deep with it. He's got a man wide open. Window Davis, touchdown. <laughs> Alabama's ball, first down at their own 23. And Shula sets the throw on first down. Hit, knocked down. Inside the 15 by Carl Wilson. Baylor winning 14 to 6. Michigan won big. A lot of mismatches today. Wickersham throws in a crowd and produces a completion with his tight end Mitch Andrews. Up about the 44. Second down and three for the Tigers. Here goes Gary James. Fumbles the football. Alabama's got it. If they don't call him down. And they're going to call him down. Third down. Six. Little mix-up as Hilliard and uh, Wickersham ran together. And by the time Dalton had control of it, John Hand and company. Second down, about nine. They've controlled Al Bell today. Shula takes off gets it up to the 25, so it'll be third down and five. Now they double up with Bell and Richardson on the same side to the bottom of the screen. He's got Richardson. Greg makes the catch just beyond the marker, and Alabama will have four more snaps. 
just don't give you anything back there. Ed Chandler, the tight end in motion. He looks for it. Throws, and it is caught by Al Bell. And having the tight end, Chandler, drag underneath, open the zone for Al Bell to go up. This time Humphrey goes in motion. And Shula's throwing. It's Bell, and it's caught at the LSU 22. Keith, that's the best throw and catch of the day. Second down at about seven. They pitch it to Humphrey. And Humphrey gets it back down to the 15, where it'll be third down and three, roughly. Single back offense, Keith. Must be going to throw it. Nope. Oh, the shut up. Fumbled it. Who's no, he called it? called it down, Keith. He's, the ball, the ground knocked the ball loose. And the clock is running at 7.15 to play in the game. Missed it, Keith. Alabama's going to get the ball back. Here's the place. Wickersham zips it again, throws the ball in front of the intended receiver, Wendell Davis. Davis was down on his knees up at the 45 and had a chance to make the catch, but Wickersham couldn't get it to it. Alabama with 5.07. The play in the game starts first down at their 32. Mike Shula breaks out and gets a first down as he comes to the 43 yard line. With Jelks in motion, making him another wide receiver. So they've got three speedsters. The pass is thrown to Whitehurst on the LSU side of the field and dropped just inside the 47, close to the 46. Now the double coverage. Jelks, three blockers in front of him. Breaks it to the sidelines and goes out of bounds at the 35, killing the clock at 3.24. Quarterback draw. First down. What a gutty call that. Oh, third and long. My hat's off to Ray Perkins. That is a sensational gutty cross-up call. Third and 20, and the crowd is in it. Bell, too high. He had cut in front of the defender. Chris Carrier had a shot at it. Ball game is in the balance right here. 159 to play. Bell, he's got it. Penalty flag is thrown. He's inside the five-yard line at the two. And let's see about the flag. It was thrown well downfield in the secondary. Holding by the defensive team. First and goal, Alabama at the LSU two. It's first down and goal at the two with Jelks and Turner in the lineup and only a minute and a half to play in the ball game. They give it to Jelks. He wants to throw it. He throws it for Shula. Touchdown! Can you believe that? Now they've got to decide. Go for two? I think they will. This really surprises me. Tiffin for the tie, and it's good. And a vote from me, and it's been my feeling for years. Let's get rid of tie games. Is that Georgia has a tie. Should they beat Auburn and Alabama win there too, and Tennessee lose one game, they'd be in the Sugar Bowl. That's, that's a lot right. of ifs, but uh, I'm sure that's what he was thinking since Georgia has a tie, and they're playing Auburn between the hedges in Athens. Ricochet dumps it off to Hilliard. He's got a blocker, and he gets it up here midfield. They'll put him out at the 49-yard line. Ain't over. No. 105 to play. You can see number 80 of LSU blocking for him. 80 is, is McGee. Ricochet hits Mitch Andrews, the tight end, and Andrews rolls down a little short of the first down. And we're at 56, 55 and counting. Ball is near the Alabama 42. Wickersham goes for the first down. 
That amounts pretty much to a first down. I mean, to a timeout, really, because the clock now stops as they move the chains. To go without the huddle, Dee. And they line up to go without huddling because they probably call two plays at least in the huddle. And they go before the chains are really in place. And the penalty flag yeah. is in the air. And somebody may have had too many people on the field as Hilliard pulls it down and gets to the 29. They're defending. They swing it out of Hilliard. He gets loose. Dalton Hilliard is down to the 10-yard line. They're in a running formation. Well, they've got the best blocker in there at fullback, Craig Rathjen, and Hilliard's behind him out of the eye, and Hilliard has it. And he gets to the eight. They're going to trust the field goal kicker if they don't score on the running game. Let the clock run a little bit, though, wouldn't it? It is a 24-yard field goal try. The well, first carrier's got to snap it. Howell's got to hold it. And Lewis has got to kick it. He missed from 26 earlier. He missed from 40 when it was tipped. It's up. <laughs> missed it. It was close, Keith. He didn't miss the missed ball. it right. Can you believe that? And here's the drama over here. How about that? His decision of going for one point is paid off. It's like golf. Every shot makes somebody happy. <laughs> and here's Hansberg. He thought it was good. He's happy. But wait a minute. And Alabama takes the snap. The clock expires, and the game is over. And your final score... Alabama 14 and LSU 14.